Hello folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today I've been sent a really quirky recipe called Oreo, or AKA cookies and cream ice cream bread. Uh, I'm pretty intrigued, I wanna try it out. And it's only three ingredients, uh, so let's give it a go. The ingredients are right down below. I'm ready to go, let's do it. Okie doke then folks. Ah, oh, Oreo in there. Bag of 12 Oreos there, which we're gonna bash. This is some good old Haagen-Dazs cookies and cream ice cream so we are totally in cookies and cream heaven right now and the third ingredient is good old self raising flour these three together is going to make this amazing ice cream bread right then folks uh, what we've got here is our self raising flour and the ice cream patiently waiting to one side in fact i should point at it with my rolling pin which i need right now because we've got our oreos in a bag in a sealed bag in fact we're going to bash turn the turn these oreos into crumbs it's very therapeutic it's a bit of a stress relief Urgh. Love it. If you had a bad day, bash some Oreos. Bash Oreos, folks. It is the future. Oh, next up, we're going to grab ourselves a big old bowl and shove in the cookie crumbs. I really want to eat those, but we're going to have self-control. And what we're going to do next is grab the flour and dunk this in too. Just doesn't need to be sifted. We're going to go for rough today, rough and rustic. And of course, last but not least, our haagen -Dazs. Let's bring that in. Let's undress. Oh, the ice cream. It's at room temperature, so it should pop into this bowl nicely. Oh, look at that. <laughs> straight, we've caught it straight out of the tub. No wastage right in there, folks. So all we're doing is mixing it all through together so that room temperature ice cream is going to cling to those other Oreos and the flour, get it all completely worked through to create your dough. The fun step now, so just aligned uh, loaf tray. We're just going to dollop in this Oreo, I guess, bread batter, we could call it, or something like that. But I'm telling you, it is feeling good right now. I'm getting confident about this recipe. Kind of looks like the ice cream you get at a shop. I want to take scoops out of it right now, uh, but instead we are going to put it in our oven and bake it for 35 minutes. I am very excited to see what this turns out like. There we go then, folks. So that is out of the oven. What we're going to do is take a good old bamboo skewer just to make sure. We're going to pierce it through. Yes, it's come out dry. So that means it's ready. We're going to let it cool down fully. Loosen it from the tin with a spatula like so, just a little pokey poke like that, and sit it on a wire rack to cool down fully. It's still a teeny bit warm, but I am loving that. So I'm going to just cut, oh my gosh, right through it like so. Take a nice, oh, check that out. Still a little bit of steam coming there. It's going to be warm and gooey. I'm loving that speckledness. We must eat it now. The smell in here is absolutely amazing. Um, I was just thinking like by slicing it up here, you could serve it so many ways. You could toast it, put butter on it, put Nutella on it. I'm just gonna take it up one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe even serve it with some Oreo ice cream. That would be amazing. Let's have a taste. That is a complete stonker. It's not as sweet as you'd think. It is kind of savory. So mix it up, maybe treat it as fruit bread. So, so good. If you have any recipe suggestions for me to try, let me know down below. Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media and subscribe, and I will see you again next time.